the future of reforestation is here. A perfect combination of technology, mobility, and affordability, all wrapped in a fixed-wing aircraft Mi Team Garudish was regular class model. With a semi-elliptical wing platform and a wingspan of 88 inches and winglets, to increase the flying efficiency to the finest level. A custom tricycle landing gear was designed, to have an adequate ground clearance in a rugged terrain, and to provide a proper weight distribution between the main gear, and the nose gear. To maintain an environment-friendly propulsion system, a highly efficient electric BLDC motor is used, paired with an 18-inch propeller. Powering the motor is a hot swappable 6-cell lithium polymer battery, with a capacity of 8000 mAh. This combination together gives the plane a flight time of more than 40 minutes. In India there have been more than 15,000 forest fire alerts reported in 2019. These are considering high confidence alerts only. The most forest fires recorded was in the year 2012, with 20,315. The season of forest fires peaks in late February and lasts around 13 weeks. This disturbs the whole forest ecosystem. Not just forest fires but rapid deforestation due to natural or man-made causes are a rising issue in India. In 2018, India lost more than 130,000 hectares of forest cover, and that number is rising each year. Many of the affected area are hard to access. Sowing seed by hand on such a large scale is not feasible. The recent development in seeds, fertilizers and seed bombs have made it a viable option to sow seeds aerially. Aerial reforestation or seed bombing is a method to repair a deforested land by dropping seeds bombs, by using a manned or unmanned aerial vehicle. With a germination rate of 70%, seed bombs can be a crucial tool against deforestation. With our existing design we implemented this method of aerial reforestation. A few additions were made to our plane to suit its needs, like The plane is equipped with an autopilot system, which is capable of performing the whole mission autonomously. For manually flown missions, the pilot has a gyroscope and a FPV camera for ease of flying. The telemetry of the plane is transmitted through a RF module to the base station. The payload bay was converted into a hopper. The hopper can carry varieties of seeds, and seed bomb. It allows us to maintain steady and smooth flow of seeds to the dispenser. The hopper has a volume of 150 cubic inches, and the plane can carry a payload up to 6 kilograms. The dispenser is attached to the feet of the hopper, and the door of the dispenser is integrated with the autonomous system. The client can program an individual target or an area to sow the seeds. This is assigned over a terrain map which helps the client to visually decide a reforestation site. The dispenser can drop a cluster of seeds or individual seed bombs. The plane autonomously opens the dispenser door. Once the plane reaches the predefined GPS position, a variable dropping height can be programmed depending upon the type of seeds. A safe at a low altitude of 10 meters from the ground is preferred. This results in greater accuracy to reach the target location, and it also helps to increase the rate of germination. Neem trees are found in almost all types of forest in India. This makes neem a great candidate for aerial reforestation. In a single flight, our plane is capable of sowing more than 530,000 neem seeds, and the whole process is autonomous. We team Garudashwa are aiming our regular class model to be an effective reforestation tool, with high success rate while being efficient and affordable. Let's all get together and fight against deforestation, and make India a greener and better place to live. Thank you.